Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. God bless you. My God, sisters, in the house early. I love it, Deja. God bless you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Amen. Thank you for coming in right away. Thank you for coming in quickly. Come on. Hallelujah. God bless you, Mishy Boo. God bless you. God bless you, Minister Clay Edward. God bless you. God bless you, Evangelist Patrice Smith. Good to see you, woman of God. God bless you, Evangelist Johnson. Good to see you. Amen. Come on, come on. Amen. Why don't you go ahead and invite some people in to the prayer watch. Hallelujah. Amen. Why don't you invite some people in? God bless you, Susie. Stephanie, God bless you. I miss you more. I miss you more. I have to come out and see you. I have to come out and see you. Amen. I, I got to come out and see you. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on. Why don't you just invite some people in on the left hand side? Amen. Invite some people into the prayer watch. Tonight is day 11. Amen. And I feel the glory of God already here. Amen. On this prayer watch tonight, I'm telling you something. God is here on this prayer watch. Amen. I'm telling you, thank you so much. God bless you, Joshua. Minister Joshua coming in tonight. God bless you, man of God. Thank you so much. Amen. For praying for me. Amen. Everybody who's been praying for my voice. Amen. I thank you so much for praying for me. I feel the prayers of the righteous. Amen. And we know that it do. They do avail of much. Amen. God bless you, Eva. Carilla Rodriguez. God bless you. Amen. Thank you so much for coming in on time, on time, on time. Come on. Amen. We got to, uh, I got to speak on that. Amen. Tonight, we got to come in on time, nine o'clock. Amen. And won't you just go ahead, amen, and invite some people into the room on the left-hand side. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, share it, share it, share it, share it. Let us get some people in tonight. Uh, I, it's funny. It's, it's really, really funny because I rarely share it with my immediate followers. Amen. And um, <clears throat> my friends on my Facebook list, amen, I, I you know, um, I generally don't. Uh, I think I could count on my one hand twice that I've shared it with my followers and God has still taken this prayer, amen, to heights that we uh, could not have imagined, amen, last night, I'm going to reveal last night what God has done, God bless you, amen, God bless you, Thela Mae Smith, amen, God bless you, Michael Davis, God bless you, Evangelist, amen, Sheila, God bless you, woman of God, coming in tonight, on the prayer watch. Amen. God bless you, woman of God. God bless you, Madeline Jackson. Pastor Madeline Jackson. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. Want you continue to share. Continue to share. Amen. And let's invite these people in. Let us invite, 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 invite. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. God bless you, Arlene Gordon. Thank you so much, Joanne Williams. God bless you coming in and sharing the video. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, share the video. Tag all of your followers. Tag all of your followers. Amen. Come on, we getting ready to start the prayer watch live. Amen. Y'all know I started. I give us a little grace period. Amen. And then I started at the same time every night. I started at the same time every night. But I love to greet you. Amen. Before I get in the height of the anointing. Amen. It's so hard to greet you. Amen. When I'm all the way up there. Amen. In the height of the anointed. So I like to greet you. Amen. God bless you, Queen of Gregory. God bless you. And welcome to the prayer watch. Amen. God bless you, Diana Newman. Amen. Bless you. Bless you, woman of God. God bless you. Welcome to the prayer watch. Amen. God bless you, Leah James. Amen. Welcome to the prayer watch. Amen. Queen has said that she shared. Thank you so much. Please. Continue to share it. Continue to invite your followers. Come on, let everybody know the prayer watch is on right now. Nine o'clock, nine o'clock, we are here. Amen, hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you, Deborah Lee. God bless you. I'm telling you something tonight, <clears throat> and I say it every night, but I'm telling you something. Y'all know when I say tonight, that means that God is getting ready to do something that he has never done before. Amen. That God is getting ready to reveal a word to us tonight. 
amen. I'm telling you, tag some people in this room tonight, amen, that is going through something, amen, that's going through a situation, amen, glory be to God, I dare you to tag them on in tonight, amen, hallelujah, come on, that's it, God bless you, Susan Dufis, good, good to see you again, woman of God, God bless you, Cleopatra, amen, it's your first time, wow, welcome to the prayer watch, amen, this thing has been going around Facebook, Amen. It has been being just followed and, and watched all across the nation. Amen. And I just give God all the glory and I give him all the honor. Amen. For what he is doing. Amen. Through us. Through us. Not through me, but through us. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, Mishy Boo, for inviting your followers as normal. God bless you, Susie. Susie Pina, thank you for inviting. God bless you, Alberta Favored for inviting amen hallelujah i'm checking my time amen come on we got a few more minutes before we start amen and i'm going to amen i generally don't do this amen hallelujah but i'm going to invite some of my followers who i normally see amen on the prayer watch amen in this uh time amen some of some of them amen are still trying to amen glory be to god come on in and so hallelujah to God be all the glory for the things that he has done. Amen. Come on, once you continue to invite your followers in. Amen. We're getting ready to start. Amen. Hallelujah. To God be all the glory for the things that he has done. Amen. Come on, I want to greet you. Amen. If it's your first time coming in, I want to greet you tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. To God be all the glory. I'm telling you something. This word tonight, it has stirred up my spirit. <clears throat> this word tonight has stirred up my spirit. And thank you again for those who have been praying for me. Amen. I so appreciate you. Amen. For praying for me. Amen. Glory be to God. I feel your prayers. Amen. Hallelujah. I feel your prayers tonight. Amen. Amen. I'm just inviting those, amen, who I normally see on the prayer watch. Amen. To God be all the glory. Come on, once you continue to share and once you let me know, amen, that you have shared, amen, this video with your followers. Amen. If you can add those into the prayer watch, amen. If you have that capacity to invite your friends into the prayer watch, won't you go ahead and do so? Amen. Hallelujah. Because we're going to be in and out today. Amen. We're going to be in and out today. Come on, invite them in. Invite them in. Glory be to your name, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 I invited as, excuse me, as few as I can. Amen. Praise the Lord. Evangelist. God bless you. Evangelist Patrice Smith. Good to see you, woman of God. Good to see you, woman of God. Amen. I'm coming back. Amen. God bless you, J. Anthony. God bless you, Sheila. Amen. I try to invite a few of my followers in. Amen. I generally don't have the time to, but I invited a few. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Jackie Brown. God bless you. Evangelist Guinea Sims, God bless you. Evangelist Shanae Wilson, God bless you. Anthony, good to see you, man of God. I'm glad you made it in. Amen. God bless you, Pastor Ify. God bless you, Jeremiah. Amen. God bless you, Trisha. God bless you, Barbara. Amen. Amen. God bless you, Diana, for sharing. God bless you, Sister Thomas. Leave it. Good to see. Amen. Tabricia is in the house. Amen. My mentee, good to see you. Amen. God bless you, Charlene. Sophia, thank you so much for sharing. Amen. Glory be to God. Come on, somebody continue to share this video. Amen. But we get ready to start. Amen. And you can continue to share. Amen. Glory be to God as we uh, partake on what the Lord is saying. Amen. In this hour, what is he saying to us? Amen. In this season, for those of you who are who it is your first time. Amen. God bless you, Sister Thomas. For those of you, it is your first time on the prayer watch. We are in day number 11. Amen. And God has called me to do this prayer watch and he instructed me, amen, to do it for 40 days. Amen. I don't know what God is going to say, 
amen, after the 40 days, amen. But one thing that I know and I am certain of, amen, is that anytime God do a thing, amen, hallelujah, he calls you to prosper in the thing that he has put his hands on. God bless you, Donna. God bless you, Evangelist Outer. Thank you, Charlene, for sharing blessings. Amen. Hallelujah. Joshua, your first time. Wow. Amen. To God be the glory. Amen. Cheryl, your first time. Amen. Listen, I know that when God does a thing, amen, he calls it to prosper. Amen. And, and a lot of times, amen, we can do a thing. Amen. And God will call us to do something. Amen. And he'll prosper. And sometimes God will say, uh, uh, don't do a thing and we'll do it anyway. And we'll find, amen, that it is not prospering, that it is not prospering. Amen. Hallelujah. The Bible, amen. I, I heard it. It wasn't even the Bible, but God makes provision for the vision. I keep hearing this saying, and it is so true. God will make provision for the vision and that's not just talking about money amen but it's talking about amen God will bring in the people amen he'll bring in the resources come on somebody amen and ever since we have started the prayer watch live amen from day one it started amen with a small gathering of people amen and it, it has now ever since yesterday amen it has reached amen 9,000 people on the prayer watch on one night on last night, to God be all the glory and all the honor and praise. Amen. Amen. And for those who've been on the prayer watch with me, we ought to rejoice. Amen. Because we said that prayer need to go out to the nation. Amen. The Bible says, if my people who are called by my name will hum humble themselves and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Amen. God said that he'll heal the land. Amen. And this is not for show. This is not for notoriety. This is not amen for anything other than it is amen. But that is to reach amen. The nation with prayer. Amen. That God may heal our nation again. Amen. And so last night we can rejoice to all the prayer watch warriors. Amen. We can rejoice. Amen. That on last night, amen. 9,000 people was on last night, giving God prayer, worshiping him and praising him. Amen. So we give God all the honor. We give God all the praise. Amen. For what he is doing and what he is doing through us, not through me, but through us. So I admonish you, amen, that as you are on this prayer watch, I normally say this to the end, but as you are on this prayer watch, amen, I admonish you, amen, to share it with somebody, amen, who needs prayer. Don't be selfish. Don't be a hater. Amen. Don't be jealous. Don't be envious. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on. Amen. Share this prayer. Amen. With somebody, amen, that is standing in the need of prayer. We've been getting uh, uh, testimonies and different things from all over. And if you have not submitted your testimony, if you have not submitted your prayer request, amen, you can do so, amen, at the prayer watch live at G gmail.com. Amen. If you want to order your prayer watch t-shirt, amen. I'm putting this all out of the way uh, so that we can go into prayer and we can really see God. Your prayer watch t-shirt, amen. If you have not uh, submitted your name, your address, and your telephone number, amen, to the prayer watch live at gmail.com for your t-shirt, please do so because we're getting ready to launch our t-shirt line to where we will be wearing. I will be wearing it, amen, here on the prayer watch. Amen. Glory be to God. I'm starting to see, amen, the normal followers coming in tonight to God be the glory. Amen. So what is it that God is saying tonight to us and for us? Amen. What is it that God is saying through us and for us and to us? Amen. God began to minister to me. Amen. And I want to put this in your hearing. Amen. Because we're going to walk through the word of God tonight. Amen. Just for a little bit before we go into amen. The prayer. Amen. Glory be to God. And God told me tonight. The subject is the subject is tonight for those who can help me. Amen. And, and transcribe. Amen. And put it down below. Amen. If you can help me transcribe the word of God tonight. Tonight is amen. Your pain reveals God's purpose. I'm gonna say it again. Your pain reveal God's purpose. Your pain reveal God's purpose. Amen. Everything that you are going through, everything that you have went through, amen, since the beginning of the year, 
up until now, up until yesterday, up until this morning, up until this afternoon. Amen. Your pain is revealing God's purpose over your life. Amen. So this is why God is admonishing us. Amen. Not to get distracted, not to get off course, not to get uh, uh, off course. Amen. Glory be to God in anxiety. Amen. On what the Lord, amen, is doing through us and for us. Amen. It is not to get us in worry. Listen to what I'm telling you. I don't care what it is. Amen. That the enemy is saying, I don't care what it is. Amen. That the enemy is doing. Amen. Hallelujah. God said tonight that our pain is revealing our purpose. Oh my goodness. So if you are on this line tonight, amen. Hallelujah. And you're saying, God, what is my purpose? What is my assignment on the earth realm? What is it that you are calling me to do? Amen. Hallelujah. God said, amen. Look at the pain that you're going through. I already feel God on this line. Amen. God said, look at the pain. Amen. That you're going through because that's where your purpose lies. Oh my God. Oh my God. God said tonight, if you're not going through any pain right now, he said that if you're not going through any struggle right now, he said that if you're, if the enemy is not attacking you on every side, he said that you're nothing in the kingdom. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Only the people, amen, that the, that, that, that is being afflicted and inflicted with pain. Amen. Your purpose. Amen. You are purposeful in the kingdom. There's purpose on your life. There's purpose on your life because why? Amen. God don't do anything. Amen. Hallelujah. Without trying your character. God don't do anything. Amen. Outside. Amen. Hallelujah. Without trying the character, without putting you through the fire, without putting you through the test. So if you're going through pain, Deja, God said it's in your purpose. That's where your purpose is. That's where your assignment is. That's what God is calling you to. Amen. Hallelujah. To reach and touch somebody else. Do you hear what I'm saying? Do you hear what I'm saying to you? Do you hear what I'm saying? If you going through hurt right now in your body, if you going through pain, if you're going through attack, hallelujah, in your finances, if you going through hallelujah, sire, pain in your family, glory be to God. If you going through amen, a, 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 a pain that, that you can't describe and pain that, that just came out of nowhere. Amen. God said it's because your purpose is getting ready to be revealed. Your purpose is getting ready to be revealed. Your assignment on this earth realm is getting ready to be revealed. Listen to what I'm telling you. And God told me this. God told me this. And I need somebody to transcribe this right now. He said redemptive suffering. Oh my God. Oh my God. He said, what is redemptive suffering? What is redemptive suffering? Somebody put that down there for me. Redemptive suffering. He said a lot of that, what you're going through, amen, is not even concerning you. It's not even for you. Now, don't get me wrong. There are some people, amen, that are going through pain and situation and trial and testing. And some of you, amen, may have put that on yourself. Amen. Hallelujah. The Bible says, glory be to God, that you reap what you sow. Oh, glory be to God. And I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking about that tonight, but I'm talking about the pain that is called redemptive suffering, redemptive suffering, redemptive suffering. What is redemptive suffering? Redemptive suffering is this. Listen to what the spirit of the Lord told me. He said, redemptive suffering, Jerry, is when you go through a problem or a pain for the benefit of others. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. If this ain't blessing, nobody else is, re is blessing me. Come on. Redemptive suffering. I'm going to say it again so you can transcribe it below. Redemptive suffering is this is what the Holy Ghost said and he, what he told me. He said, Jerry, you're going through redemptive suffering. This suffering is not of your own accord. This suffering and pain that you're going through is not even for you, but it's for those who you are called to reach. It is for those who you are called. Amen. Hallelujah. To testify and let them know that if God can pull me out of the miry clay, if God can pull me out of the hell that I'm going through, if God can pull me out of the suffering, hallelujah, God can pull me out of the fire. He can pull you out too. It's called redemptive suffering. 
Oh my goodness. And I didn't understand it, Deja. I didn't understand it until now. I didn't understand it, Joshua. I didn't understand it, Renisha. Until now, when the Holy Ghost said, Jerry, this is what you are going through. And I need you to prophesy over everybody tonight who have joined on the prayer watch live tonight. He told me to tell you tonight that what you are going through, it is not for you tonight. So if you are experiencing hell, if you are experiencing and weakness in your body, if you are experiencing trials and tribulation, if you are experiencing warfare, if you are experiencing witchcraft, if you are experiencing things, hallelujah, that you cannot explain. God told me to tell you tonight, it is not for you, but it's for the ministry. It's for the people that are coming behind you. It's for the people that are connected to your power. It's for the people that are connected to your anointing. It's called redemptive suffering. Oh my God. Oh my God, I'm going to say it again because I'm going ahead of myself. He said it's called redemptive suffering. I'm going to say it again so you can transcribe it tonight. Oh my goodness, if I was you, I'd I share this right now. Share it right now. Share it right now. Listen what he said. He said redemptive suffering. I'm going to say it again because somebody didn't get that. Somebody didn't get that tonight. Somebody didn't get that because I, I should be seeing more hearts because this is going to tell you why you've been going through all the hell you've been going through. This is going to tell you right now why you've been going through in your body. This is going to tell you right now why you've been going through in your family. This is going to tell you right now how why you've been homeless. This is going to tell you right now why you had to go on drugs. Why God? Why did I have to go through the pain? God, why? Why did I have to lose my father at a young age? God, why did I have to lose my mother at a young age? God, why? Why did I have to go through? And this is answering the why. This is answering the why. Why, God, did I have to go through? God, why did I have to go through the pain? God, why did I have to hire the Messiah? Be born into the circumstances that I was born into. God, why did I have to suffer since I was two years old? God, why did I have to go through foster care and be snatched from my family. God, why did I have to go through being, a, being on cancer two and three times? God, why did I have to be ostracized since I was in hospital in high school? God, why did they have to pick on me? Oh God, why, why, why? And God said it's because of the redemptive suffering that's on your life. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm telling you something right now. I feel some of you in the spirit. And God told me to tell you tonight. This is the this is the answer to your why. You've been searching for years. God said you've been searching for years. You've been searching for years. You've been crying out to God for years. You've been crying out to God and saying, God, why do I have to go through the pain I'm going through? God, why? Why did I have to go through low self-esteem? God, why did I have to go through obesity? God, why did I have to go through anorexia? God, why did I have to go through the cancer and the HIV and A? Because God said it's called redemptive suffering. It's because what you're going through, it is not for you. But God said it's for the ministry. It's for the anointing that's on your life. It's for the power that's getting ready. That's getting ready to be worked through you. God said, because when you open up your mouth and when you begin to proclaim your testimony, God said, I'm getting ready to heal millions through your mouth. I'm getting ready to deliver millions through your testimony. I'm getting ready to shake up the nation. I'm getting ready to shake up this world through your testimony. Do you hear what I'm telling you, women of God? Do you hear what I'm telling you, men of God? He said, I'm getting ready to answer your why me, Oh my God. And this shall answer it for a lot of you. And this shall answer it for a lot of you. You've been asking God, why me? Oh God, why me? And I'm seeing some of you crying in the midnight hour. Saying, God, why did I have to lose my father? God, why my father could not love me? And oh God, why did I have to lose my mother at a very young age? God, why? Why did I have to go through the suffering? God, why did I have to go through the pain? And God has said it's because of the redemptive suffering that's on your life. 
It's because of the redemptive suffering that's on your life. He said it's because of the redemptive suffering that you had to go through the pain and the sorrow. And listen, I'm going to bring it in the word and so you're going to be able to understand everything that I'm saying. I'm not speaking of my own accord, but I'm speaking of the Holy Ghost. Because I didn't even understand it myself. I said, God, God, why did I have to go through foster care at such a young age? God, why did I have to get abused emotionally at such a young age? Do you hear what I'm saying to you? God, why did, why, 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 why even up to now people don't understand me? Oh, you're the Messiah. Why Jesus? And God said, prophetess Jerry, it's because you are going through the redemptive suffering. This is why you was ostracized. This is why you were set apart. This is why you don't, don't have many friends. God said it's because of the redemptive suffering that you had to go through, that you had to go through. I said, God, why did I have to leave? Oh, you're the Messiah. Why did I have to go through foster care? Foster care after foster care. Oh, you're the Messiah. You don't want to hear my testimony. And God said it's because of the redemptive suffering. Oh, my God. Oh my God, do you hear what I'm saying to you? And I tell my, this is why I tell my testimony everywhere I go because I'm not ashamed of my testimony. I'm not ashamed of my testimony to say I was in the foster care system since the age of five to the age of 21. I'm not afraid to tell my testimony that I was thrown downstairs, knocked unconscious, nose bleeding. Y'all don't want to hear my testimony. Oh, you're the Messiah forced to drink alcohol at the tender age. Hello, the Messiah. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God said, Jerry, it's because of the redemptive suffering. It's because of the anointing huh, that I'm placing over your life. Huh. It's because of the anointing huh, that I'm placing over your life. Huh. It's because of the people huh, that I am calling you to. Huh. It's because of the power huh, that I'm rotten in your life. Huh. It's because of the anointing. Huh. It's because after you have suffered a little while, huh, all you're the most higher the higher. Huh. It's because after you suffered a little while, glory be to God, you're going to be able to go back to tell somebody that Jesus delivers, that Jesus set free, that Jesus can set your mind free, that Jesus can heal your body, that Jesus can regulate your mind, that Jesus can heal your deepest hurt, that Jesus can heal your wounds. Do you hear what I'm saying to you tonight? You looking at somebody who is broken. You looking at somebody who used to cry herself to sleep. You looking at somebody who said, God, why do I have to go through this? God, why do I have to lose my mother? You looking at somebody who was abandoned by her father and her father is an apostle and a bishop. You don't want to hear my testimony. Oh, you're the most sick and the Messiah. Abandoned by her father and I bear his first name. Do you understand what I'm telling you? But God had to clean me out. God had had to heal me of all those wounds huh? and he had to let me know Jerry is because of the redemptive suffering oh my god oh my god oh my god Oh, you're the Baba 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 Sikh, the Baba Sikh. Eh, you're the Baba 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 Sikh, the Baba Ha. You're the Baba Sikh, the Baba Ha. See, everybody look at the power. Everybody look at the anointing, huh? And everybody don't understand you. And God told me, listen, I'm here to prophesy to you right now because somebody had to tell me they not gonna understand you. They not gonna understand you. As a matter of fact, they ain't gonna invite you to every platform. Why? Because God has set you aside. Oh, you're the Baba. And when the time is, hallelujah, to reveal your anointing, your anointing will not be denied. Do you understand what I'm telling you right now? The anointing on your life, it will not be denied. It will be not shut out. Oh, you're the Messiah, because after God reveal your anointing, glory be to God, hallelujah, it shall not be denied. But God want to put you to the side. He want to put you in a cocoon because he want to develop some things in your life. He want to build some character over your life. He want to build integrity over your life. He don't want you to be like everybody else. He don't want you to be like some of these wishy-washy Christians and wishy-washy evangelists that said they called by God, but there's no obedience over their lives and there's no sacrifice over their life and they just out there of the whole of the Messiah. Glory be to God, a vagabond in the spirit. Oh my God. 
They are vagabond in the spirit. They don't want to honor the Messiah, submit to no leadership. And God said he's getting ready to shut it all down. He's getting ready to shut down all the vagabond ministries. He's getting ready to shut down all the vagabond evangelists. He's getting ready to shut down all the vagabond pastors and all the vagabond ministers. You don't want to submit to your pastor. You don't need to have a ministry. Sit your hips down. Sit yourself down and humble yourself and say, teach me all over again. Oh my God. Oh my God. You don't understand what I'm saying to you. And this is why I can minister now. Because God had to heal me. He healed me from those wounds. He had to heal me in order for me to proclaim to you. That God can do it for you. Do you hear what I'm telling you? God can heal you. God can set you free. He can move on your behalf. He can open up the doors that no man can shut. Do you hear what I'm saying? This is why now, this is why. Why now the doors are open for me because I was able to submit my ministry unto another. I was able to humble myself. Glory be to God and sit my hips down. Do you understand what I'm saying? Even when you know you're called to pastor, even when you know you're called to evangelize, even when you know you're called to be a missionary. Hallelujah. God told me, Jerry, sit down higher the Messiah and humble yourself. Do you hear what I'm saying? Come on, people was being ministers before me and God called me or come on somebody God said sit down because I'm humbling you oh my God oh my God I didn't even mean to go there but that was for somebody that was for somebody that was for somebody God said sit down and get humility sit down and get underneath a pastor sit down and humble yourself sit down and get taught in in the name of Jesus come on and let me tell you something. Your ministry ain't going to go nowhere but a front door. Oh, your ministry ain't going to go nowhere but a front store, storefront ministry. Why? Because you don't know how to submit to nobody. Oh, you're the Messiah. But the time, hallelujah, God told me to sit my hips down. And that's what I did. Glory be to God. And now when I preach, now when I'm on here on Facebook Live, I can say I have a pastor that I submit to. I can say I have leadership that I submit to. Oh, you're the most high. They know everywhere that I go. They know what I'm doing. Come on, somebody. Your pastor should know everything that you're doing. Your pastor should know everywhere that you're going. Hi, you're the Messiah. Sit your hips down and get humility. Oh, my God. See, I didn't mean to go there. That was for somebody. That, that must have been for somebody. Because I didn't mean to go there. I didn't mean to go there. God said humility. Humility, humility, humility. The Bible says that the humble shall be. Not will be. Not maybe. Not sometimes. But the Bible says that the humble shall be exalted shall be exalted and let me tell you something as soon as you humble yourself to somebody as soon as you sit yourself and you sit your ministry underneath somebody that's when you'll begin to see the prosperity over your life that's when you'll begin to see the doors opening for your life come on doors that you can't even explain will begin to swing open people start to call you to preach from everywhere do you hear what I'm telling you people begin to flock to your ministry people begin to sit down underneath your ministry and hear what you got to say because you humbled yourself and you sat underneath a man or a woman of God for them to cultivate you for them to tell you when you are wrong for them to tell you you ain't nobody for them to tell you, you holler the most side, don't get beside yourself. I don't care how many people are following you, I don't care how little about side, how anointed you think you are. How you're the most side, I don't care if you lay your hands and the whole church fall out, that don't mean nothing to God. That don't be, mean nothing to God. How you're the most side, are you humble? Have you submitted underneath a leader? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, am I talking right or am I talking to myself? If I'm talking right, somebody let me see your heart. If I'm talking right, let me see your heart. Because let me tell you something, I had to get, you got to get submitted. Everybody who got a ministry or who say you got the ministry, if you say you got a ministry, you got to humble yourself. If you say you got a ministry, you should have a pastor that watch over your soul. If you say you got a ministry, your pastor should know what you're doing. Oh my God. Oh my God. 
God said he's getting ready to shut down the vagabond ministries. He's getting ready to shut down the vagabond ministry. Because as a matter of fact, hallelujah, you ain't even ready yet. Because if you don't know how to sit down underneath a leader, and I'm telling you, why am I preaching this? Why am I preaching this? Why am I preaching this? Oh my God. I, I didn't even mean to go. Somebody please help me because I didn't mean to go here. I didn't mean it. I need to see your hearts if I'm talking right because I really did. I was, I was on your pain reveals your purpose. I was on your pain reveals God's purpose. Somebody help me tonight. Amen. And he, and he told me. He told me to say that right now. He said, Behind of Osiah, glory be to God. And this is why people from my church can come on this prayer watch live. Why? Because they know that Jerry goes to pray every night on Facebook. Come on, somebody. They know. That's why the people in my church can come on my prayer watch live. Because they said Jerry is on prayer every nine o'clock on Facebook live. Come on, preaching the gospel and praying to be praying for people. Why? I'm not just out here. They can trust my spirit. They can trust the Holy Ghost in me. Come on, somebody. They can trust the Holy Ghost in me. Glory be to God. All right, God, release me. He released me from that. Listen. Listen, this is what he told me. Come on, this. Thank you. Pastor Iffy, she's on here. She's one of the pastors of the church. Pastor Iffy will tell you. Hallelujah. Submit yourself. Submit, come on, I don't care how anointed you are. I don't care how you, much you preach down the house. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. The Bible says that God works in order. Come on, God works in order. God works in order. He don't work out of order. Come on, somebody. He don't work out of order. Glory be to God. Come on, I can, th I can name the, one of the most powerfulest ministries that we have out there to date. And they will tell you, I had to submit underneath my pastor. I don't care if I was preaching to the nation. I don't care if I was preaching to them. Do you hear what I'm telling you? Telling you, and half of you that's preaching ain't preaching to no nation. Half of you ain't preaching to no nation. You preaching right there in Queens, Brooklyn, Manhattan, Bronx, Staten Island. Come on, Chicago. You preaching right there in your hometown. Ain't nobody calling you. He come to the Bosaya. I don't care if you preaching out there. God said, hallelujah, that if your pastor ain't on one accord with you, you are out of order. You are out of order. That's it. Come on. It's right there. Come on, Pastor Ify, put it up there. My church. Come on. Pope Restoration Ministries. That is my house. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. And if you don't have a church home and you're looking for a church home in Queens, come to Hope Restoration Ministries. 101-01 Springfield Boulevard. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. 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 Come on. Come on. That's right. We got to submit. We got to submit our, our ministries underneath somebody. And hallelujah. And, 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 and you could be going to the nation. I'm going to the nation. But you can't reach nobody in your block. Okay. Oh my God. Why am I going here tonight? I had a whole page of stuff. I, I don't understand what's going on tonight. I, I had a whole other subject. I had a whole other subject that I was going on tonight. Hey, you the ba 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 I had a whole nother subject. Hallelujah. <clears throat> God said, amen. You want to be called to the nation. I'm called to the nation. I'm called to the nation. And let me tell you something. This ain't going to get too many likes. This ain't going to get too many likes. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. But for those who understand and for those who said, prophetess Jerry, you talking right. Let me see your hearts. If you said prophetess Jerry, you are speaking right. We have to humble ourselves. We got to submit underneath our leaders. We have to submit underneath our pastors. We have to submit underneath somebody. Come on somebody. Let me see your hearts for all those on this prayer watch live. Come on. It's about almost a hundred of us on here that can say you are talking right. I submit to my leader. I submit to my pastor. I submit underneath their authority. I don't care if your pastor do things wrong or right. And let me address this. Why am I talking about this tonight? I don't care if your pastor, amen, if he doing something wrong. The Bible ain't tell you to correct your pastor. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Why am I talking about this tonight? Somebody help me. Come on. Let me see your hearts. Somebody help me. Please, please help me tonight. Please help me tonight. Please help me tonight. Oh, 
He said, I don't even care if your pastor is in the wrong. He said, that is not for you. Amen. Glory be to God to correct your pastor and tell your pastor what is right. The devil is a liar. We bind that spirit in the name of Jesus. We bind that spirit in the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody. It is for God to correct his leaders. It is for God to correct his leaders. If it is for God to chastise his leaders, it is not for the layman to come down and say, Pastor, you was this and that and this and that. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. Come on, somebody. If God did, if God spoke to your pastor and told your pastor, it ain't time for you to go out there and preach, then you ought to sit your hips down. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Where's the likes? Where's the likes? Where's the likes? Where's the likes? He said, if I, if, 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 if I told you don't go out there, don't go out because guess what? The pastor watches over our souls. The our pastor watches over our souls and he knows what you can handle. He knows your character. See everybody out there in the nation. They don't really know you. They don't really know you like that. They only see you as, oh, come on, somebody praise them. Yeah, yeah, da, da, da. No, 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 no. See, the people in the world, amen, the people in the church, amen, come on. They don't know, amen, that you still lie. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. See, everybody, they, come on, you can fool everybody else, but every, come on, when you go to that church, they don't know that you still cheating and you still lying. They don't know that you still have a problem. Amen with fornication. Come on somebody here. Come on somebody. They, they don't know that you still have a problem. Amen. Submitting yourself. Submitting yourself. Amen. All they see is. Amen. Oh she powerful. Oh every time she preach. Oh every time he lay hands. Oh every time he preach. The devil is a liar. And it must be some ministers on here. It must be some ministers. It must be some people that's getting ready. Come on. And God, and why is God saying this to us tonight? Why is God saying this to us tonight on this prayer watch? He's saying because you are, yes, you are powerful. Yes, you are anointed. Yes, your ministry is going places, but he don't want you to go incorrectly. Oh my God. Am I helping anybody tonight? If I'm helping you, let me see your hearts. If I'm helping you, let me see your hearts tonight. Oh, he said, hallelujah. Come on. Come on, somebody. He said, yes, you are powerful, but I don't want you to go, th go to the nation handicapped. I don't want you to go to the nation deformed. See, a lot of people, let me tell you something. Everybody ain't going to like this. Everybody ain't going to like this because you know why pride says I'm already there. I've arrived. Prod says I've already arrived. Prod says you can't tell me nothing because I'm the evangelist. You can't tell me nothing. Amen. Because I, I, I preach everywhere. I, I preach to the nation. I, they call on me. You don't understand. They call on me. Okay. They call on you. But let me tell you something. Being called on me, nothing. Being called on. Oh God. The Holy Ghost just told me this right now. He said being called on don't mean nothing. The Bible says many are called, but few are chosen. Oh my God, am I helping somebody tonight? My prayer watch family, am I helping you tonight? Am I helping you tonight? Am I helping you tonight? Somebody say you helping me. Somebody say you helping me. Because God don't want us to go out there uh, 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 not informed. And God don't want us to go out there, amen, hallelujah, amen, handicapped and, and dysfunctional. 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 Glory be to God. Come on, God said why? Because there's a powerful anointing on your life. There's a powerful anointing on your life. Do you understand what I'm telling you? And God is saying, I want to tell you these things now so that you don't fall in the same trap that so many people have fell into. Do you hear what I'm telling you? God said, I don't want you to fall in the same trap that people have fell into. Glory be to God. He said, because when I launch you, when I launch your ministry, I'm going to launch you healthy. I'm going to launch your ministry healthy so that when you go out there, you have the stamp of approval, not just from God, but from your leader, from your church. They are supporting you 100% and they know, yes, that's, that's one of our members. That's one of our members over there and we trust her spirit they said we trust your spirit come on they said we trust your spirit am I helping somebody am I helping somebody 
Come on, that's it. You should be a representation, not just of God. But of God bless you, Dora Fernandez. Good to see you. You should not just be a representation of God, but you should be a representation of your leader, of your house. And if you speak of something other than your leader, you in error. If you speak of something other than your leader, you in error. And if, if you saying, well, well, I don't just tr I don't trust my leader, and and you know, I just I just don't trust what my leader is saying, and 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 I, I just don't trust that. And every time my leader say something, I just don't trust that. Well, then why are you underneath them? Well, why are you underneath that leader? Come on. Why are you underneath that leader? Glory be to God. Then you ought to find a ministry that you can serve. You ought to find a ministry that you can get under. You ought to find a ministry that you can sow in. You ought to find a ministry, amen, hallelujah, where you can be obedient, an obedient daughter, an obedient son. Okay, why am I going through this tonight? Why am I hitting this? Pastor, if he helped me. I'm, I'm telling you, I don't understand what's going on. So, how you about say a healthy ministry, a healthy ministry, a healthy ministry. Glory be to your name, God. Come on, glory be to your name. Come on, if if somebody's in agreement with this, somebody just begin to praise the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody begin to praise the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody praise the name of Jesus. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Come on, because God said he's getting ready to he's getting ready to launch every prayer watch intercessor on here who has a ministry. He's getting ready to launch every intercessor on here. Amen. That has a, a calling on your life. Amen. Hallelujah. To pastor and to evangelize. He said that he's getting ready to launch you out healthy in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The door shall be open. Hallelujah. And this is why God is saying, amen. Hallelujah. That he has to heal us that he got to set us free from something he got to let us launch out with humility he had to let us launch out with integrity with character come on these are words that people don't want to hear holiness character with a prayer life how you being launched out to the nation and you don't have a prayer life how you being launched out to the nation and you don't know how to fast. Come on, some of you, hallelujah. If, if God called you to fast today, you'll say, God, well, you know, I just can't fast for more than one hour. The devil is a liar. How you call to the nation, but the nation on your block and you, you have never witnessed to nobody on your block, but you call to the nation. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm called to the nation. The nation's on your block. The nation's on your block. The nation is on your block. Oh my God. You got Haitians on your block. You got Chinese on your block. You got Puerto Ricans on your block. You got African Americans on your block. Come on somebody. The nation is on your block. God said open up your mouth right there on your block and witness to somebody. That's the nation right there. That I'm calling you to. Listen to what I'm telling you. Listen to what I'm telling you. He said, because he wants us to launch healthy. Oh my God. All right. I'm moving on. The Holy Ghost said I can move now. The Holy Ghost said I can move now. Did I help somebody? Did I help somebody? Glory be to your name, God. Glory be to your name, God. Glory be to your name, God. And I dare you to share this video with somebody who's getting ready. Amen. Talk about they have a ministry. Come on. You ought to share this with somebody. Share with your friends. Amen. Hallelujah. That's called to ministry. Because you know why God is saying, yes, you are the man and the woman of God. And yes, I am calling you and grooming you for ministry. But you are going to be groomed right. You are going to be groomed right in the name of Jesus. Listen to what I'm saying. The Bible here says, and I'm going to say this again. It says here, redemptive suffering. And I'm going to get back to this because the Holy Ghost just released me. It says here, redemptive suffering. Redemptive suffering. Amen. Is when. God bless you, Dora. She said in the two seconds I was here, I was helped. Amen. Redemptive suffering says is when you go through a problem or pain for the benefit of others. Oh my God. Somebody put that down there. Redemptive suffering is when you go through a problem or a pain for the benefit of others. Redemptive suffering is when you go through a problem or a pain for the benefit of others. 
for the benefit of others. And listen, let me bring it to the word. Jesus did this. Jesus said, Jesus suffered in the redemptive suffering. Amen. He died on the cross for you. Amen. Hallelujah. He did not deserve to die on the cross. Come on, somebody. And a lot of you are saying, amen. I don't deserve this, God. I don't deserve this. Amen. Some of the things that you are going through, amen. You don't deserve to go through it. Amen. Come on, somebody. You don't deserve to go through the pain and the suffering that you are going through. And God told me to tell you it's because it's redemptive suffering. You are going through the same path that Jesus Christ had to go through. He had to go through redemptive suffering by dying on the cross for a nation. He had to go through redemptive suffering. Amen. For the sins of the world. Glory be to God. He did not deserve to die, but he died and he died for you. Amen. And for me, it's called redemptive suffering. And God told me to tell you, God never wastes a hurt. Do you hear what I'm saying to you? And I'm speaking to a woman of God right now. I'm speaking to a woman right now who said, why did this have to happen to me? Why did I have to go through the situation that I'm going through right now? Some of you are going through something, amen, that has rocked your world. Do you hear? Oh my God, I feel somebody on this line. You have to go through something that has rocked your world and you cannot understand the reason why you're going through the hell that you're going through. And God told me to prophesy over your life right now that you are going through redemptive suffering. God said that he never wastes a hurt. He has never wasted a pain. Glory be to God. So if you have experienced hurt, if you have experienced pain, if you have experienced disappointment, amen, it's not just to build up your character. It's not just to prune you. Amen. That you may bear fruit in your season. Come on. We spoke about fruit. Amen. Hallelujah. We spoke about fruit last night. It's not just amen. Glory be to God to build the fruit. Amen. In this season. But it's also that you may be able to reach your hands back and grab somebody out the miry crate. It's so that you can reach your hands back and begin to tell your sister, listen hallelujah. I went through the hell but God told me and he pulled me out of the hell to begin to pull you out and let you know that no matter what you're going through that God can heal you God can set you free God can put your finances back in order God can bring your children back to life God can do it for me if he can do it for you he said redemptive suffering do you hear what I'm saying this is that suffering for all those who are on this prayer line right now God told me to prophesy to you that this pain that you're going through right now it is not because of something that you have done oh my God oh my God oh my God this is not because of something that you have done this is not because of something that you have done, but it's because of the calling. It's because of the anointing. It's because of the assignment that's on your life. This is why you have to go through the pain. This is why you have to go through the trial. This is why your children have to be taken. This is why you have to go through addiction, drug addiction. This is why you have to go through alcoholism. This is why you have to go through depression. This is why you have to go through anxiety. This is why you have to go through bulimia. This is why you have to go through anorexia this is why you have to go through low self-esteem God said because of the redemptive suffering that is on your life it's called redemptive suffering and God told me to tell you listen to what I'm telling you right now man of God and I'm speaking to a man of God right now glory be to God he told me and he wrote this out he said do not be ashamed of the testimony that lies on the inside of you he said the the thing that you're most ashamed of is your greatest ministry oh my goodness Oh my goodness. He said the thing that you are most afraid of, man of God, is because of your ministry. He said the thing that you are most afraid of uh, is your greatest ministry. Uh, oh, you're the Messiah. So if you are ashamed of what you have gone through, God said, uh uh, that is your greatest ministry. Uh, if you are ashamed of people picking on you, God said, that is your greatest ministry. Uh, if you are ashamed, hallelujah, that you went through drug abuse, uh, God said, that is your greatest ministry. Uh, 
God told me to tell you if you are ashamed uh, that you was molested as a little girl. Uh, God said that is your greatest ministry. Uh, God said if you are ashamed that you was in homosexuality. God said that that is your greatest ministry. Uh, God said if you are ashamed that you went through divorce. Uh, God said that that is your greatest ministry. Uh, stop being ashamed of the testimony that I have placed over your life. Oh, yada ba 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 see Oh, yada ba ba see ken da ba haya. He said that is the redemptive suffering. That is the redemptive suffering. Oh, yada ba haya. What is redemptive for those who's walking in? What is redemptive suffering? Redemptive suffering is when you go through a problem or a pain that is going to benefit others. That is going to benefit others. This is why you had to go through it. Jesus even had to go through it. Do you hear what I'm saying to you tonight? Do you hear what I'm saying? If I'm speaking to somebody in the Holy Ghost, come on, let me see your hearts. If I'm speaking to you, it's called redemptive suffering. God, why did I have to go through this? Why did I have to go through the pain? Why did I have to go through the abuse? Why did I have to have, amen, glory be to God, everything that happened to me even up till now? Even up till now, why did I have to go through it? He said, because of the redemptive suffering. It's because of the people that you had to carry in your ministry. It's because of the people that you have to carry in your loins. It's because of the nation that is coming through you. It is because of the nation that God is calling you to. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Listen, let's go through the word. Listen what the word is saying. Because the word of God is going to shed some light on. Hallelujah. Everything that I'm speaking on tonight. I'm not just speaking of myself tonight. But it's coming out of the word of God. Redemptive suffering. When you go through on the behalf of others. Redemptive suffering. And I'm speaking to somebody tonight. Amen. You have the prophetic anointing over your life that every time you, you, when you experience pain in your body, it is not for you. It is not for you. God told me to tell you those who are prophetic on this line and you have been experiencing pain in your body. God said it's not for you. It is for somebody else. And God told me to tell you, begin to prophesy, begin to prophesy, hallelujah, and begin to declare, I declare healing over that individual who is going through that pain. I declare healing over that person who is going through in their mind. I begin to declare healing right now in the name of Jesus. God said it's because of the redemption. Redemptive suffering. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That's why Jesus had to bear the sins of the world on his body. He had to bear the sins of the world on his body. It's because of the redemptive suffering that he had to go through. And let me tell you something. You are not greater than the teacher. Jesus is here as our teacher. He was here as our teacher to show us if I can go through it, so can you. Come on, somebody. Let's go to 2 Corinthians, the first chapter and the third verse. The third, the first chapter, 2 Corinthians, the first chapter and the third verse. Listen what the Bible says, because I know I'm helping somebody tonight. I'm helping somebody tonight that said, God, why me? Oh, my God. Because you know what? I did the same thing. I said, God, why me? Why do I have to go through? Why do I have to go through all of this? I don't want to go through all of this. Why me? And God said, tonight, I'm giving you your answer that you've been waiting for for years. For years, you've been waiting for this word. For years, you've been waiting for this word. For years, you've been waiting for this word. And you said, God, why me? Why me? Why do I have to go through it? Why, Jesus? And God said, this is your word tonight. He said, it's because of the redemptive suffering. It's because of the redemptive suffering. Oh my God. This is why you've been going through in your flesh. This is why you've been going through in your flesh. I'm talking about a physical pain, a mental pain, a trial that has rocked your world, a trial that has rocked your world. He said, because you had to go through, hallelujah, come on, since you was a young person. He said, you had to go through this pain to let another young person know that, listen, if I can go through this as a teenager, you can go through it. And hallelujah, not just go through, but get to the other side, get to the other side of this. You can go through, you can go, listen to my language, go through, go through your pain, go through your pain. 
Come on, come on. And God said, hallelujah, stop holding back the tears. Stop holding back the tears. But God said, this is the season where I want you to release your tears. Release your tears in this season. Stop holding back. Amen. The tears. God said, release it in his glory. Release it in worship. Release it in his glory. Release it in worship. The redemptive suffering. Listen, come on. We get it ready to go because I'm telling you, I feel the anointing on me for prayer right now. Second Corinthians, the first chapter and the third verse. And it says here, blessed be God. Hey, even the father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the father of mercies and the God of all comfort. The God of all comfort. Do you hear what I'm telling you? I'm speaking to a woman right now who is going through the most detrimental trial and test of your life. But listen to what God is prophesying to you right now, woman of God. He's prophesying to you right now, men of God. And he's saying, blessed, you are blessed. Be God, even the father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the father of mercies and the God of all comfort. Oh my goodness. Who comforteth us in all our tribulation that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble. Do you hear? Oh my God. Do you hear what the Bible is saying? I need you to share this right now. Oh my God. With somebody who's going through something right now, who is saying, God, why me? Why me? Listen, listen what it says. Oh my God. It says who comforted us in all tribulation that we may be able to comfort them that we may be able to comfort them that we may be able to comfort them wherewith we ourselves are comforted in God somebody put the scripture down there that we may be able to be comforted in God the Bible is saying what what is the Bible saying to us right now the Bible is saying blessed are you who comforted us in all our tribulation that we may be able to comfort them which are in trouble. God is saying because of the tribulation, because of the this anointing on your life, because of, amen, the redemptive suffering on your life. He's saying, hallelujah, that he's taking you through this trial and tribulation. This is the Bible. I'm not speaking of myself. The Bible is saying it to you here. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. That, that we may be able to comfort them which are in trouble. And as you begin to comfort those who are in trouble, God's saying tonight, amen. Amen. That he is comforting you. God bless you, Gene. He's saying that he is comforting you. As you begin to reach out, God is saying he's reaching back unto you. As you begin to reach back to heal somebody else, God's saying he's healing you. As you begin to hunger the Messiah, as you begin to, hallelujah, begin to speak into somebody else's life, God said he's speaking back into your life. This is what the word of God is saying. Oh my God, this thing opened up my eyes. I never saw this scripture until now. And God said, Jerry, it's because of the redemptive anointing. This is why you had to go through since you was a teenager. This is why, God, I set you apart and I put you to the side. Hallelujah. This is why people did not understand you. This is why they never understood your anointing. This is why you was ostracized. This is why you did not have many friends. It's because of the redemptive anointing. He said, because as you begin to go out and heal others, I'm healing you. Oh, my God. Come on. The Bible says that. As they went, they were healed. As they went, they were healed. Amen. Come on. Tanya Harold said the scripture again. Second Corinthians, the first chapter, starting at the third verse and the fourth verse. I'm going to read it again. Somebody put the scripture down there. First Corinthians, the third chapter, the first chapter and the third verse. Second Corinthians, the first chapter and the third verse, the Bible says, amen. Blessed be God, even the father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the father of mercies and the God of all comfort, the God of all comfort. Amen. That means no matter what you're going through, no matter the hell that you're going through, God said that he is going to be the God of comfort. 
He is going to comfort you in this season, in this hour, in this dispensation, in this year, in the, come on somebody, God said, I am going to comfort you in this season. Glory be to God. And the Bible says in verse four, it says this, who comforted us all in our tribulation, that we may be able to comfort them which are in trouble, in any trouble, that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble. Oh my God, that means I don't care what your neighbor is going through. I don't care what your family is going through. I don't care, hallelujah. Glory be to God, hallelujah. God said that he is going to be able to comfort you, that you may be able to comfort them, that you may be able to have a word in season and out of season, that you may be able to speak unto those, amen, who's going through a trial. The heart of the Messiah, do that means that I stop going through? No, that don't mean you stop going through. That means though that God is comforting you, that you may have the strength to comfort somebody else, that you may have the strength to witness uh, to somebody else who's going through, hallelujah, hell. Am I helping somebody? Am I helping somebody? Am I helping somebody? Y'all know the Messiah. Come on, if I'm helping you, let me see your hearts tonight, because I want to make sure that I'm helping you. The Bible says this, listen what it says in verse 5. For as the sufferings of Christ abound in us, so our consolation also aboundeth by Christ. Also our consolation aboundeth in Christ. Also your consolation, your help, your help aboundeth in Christ. Come on somebody. For as the sufferings of Christ abound or as the sufferings of Christ stay in your life, God says, so is it your consolation also will stay in Christ. And whether we be afflicted, it is for your consolation and salvation. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Even and and whether we be afflicted, it is for your consolation and salvation, which is effectual in the enduring of the same sufferings, which we also suffer. Or whether we be comforted, it is for your consolation and salvation. And our hope of you is steadfast, knowing that as you are partakers of our of the suffering, so shall you also be partakers, amen, of the consolation. Oh my goodness. For we were not brethren have you ignorant of our trouble which came to us in Asia that we were pressed out of measure above strength insomuch that we despaired even of life. Do you hear what the spirit of the Lord is saying to you tonight? Do you hear what God is saying to you tonight? He's saying tonight, amen, glory be to God. That even though you are going through the sufferings right now, although you are going through your trials and your tribulation, although you are going through the fire, God said tonight, amen, that I'm strengthening you, amen, that you may strengthen somebody else. I am strengthening you and I'm healing you of the wounds that you may go back and heal somebody else. I am going to do it for you tonight so that you can tell somebody else that God, if God can do it for me, he can do it for you. If God can open up the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing over my life, he can do it for you. God said that I have to heal you. Amen. So that you can heal heal somebody else. I got to open up the windows of heaven so that you can tell somebody else that Jesus can do it. I got to heal your body so that you can go back and tell somebody else that Jesus can heal. I got to save your family so that you can go back and tell somebody else that Jesus can save and deliver and set free. Do you hear what I'm telling you? Do you hear what I'm telling you? God said, this is the redemptive suffering. What is the redemptive suffering for those who are just joining in? The redemptive suffering is when you go through a problem or a pain for the benefit of others. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. This is why, amen, glory be to God. Some of you have been been knowing somebody right now or experienced with somebody that is going through something right now. You ought to tell them, listen, that ain't you. That's called the redemptive suffering, baby. Come on, you ought to tell somebody, listen, you ain't going through for you. That is not your trial. That is not your test. That is not your pain, but it's a redemptive suffering. 
That is why you're going through what you're going through. It is not for you. You ought to tell your neighbor. You ought to tell your friend. You ought to tell your best friend. You ought to tell your dad. You ought to tell your mother. You ought to tell somebody that what you're going through right now, it is not for you. It is not for you, but it's the redemptive suffering. Glory be to God. It's the anointing. It's the assignment. It's the people. Amen. Hallelujah. That's getting ready to run through. Glory be to God. Your bowels. What do I mean? Is the people that you are called to is the people that you are called to oh my god oh my god let's go let's go through the word second corinthians the fourth chapter god said go through the word tonight before we pray he said go through the word tonight go through the word somebody say redemptive suffering somebody say redemptive suffering somebody say redemptive suffering come on share this video right now Share it with somebody. Redemptive suffering. Oh my God. 2 Corinthians, the fourth chapter in the 16th verse. I'm telling you something. This thing blew my mind. And I said, God, wow, this is why I was going through. You mean to tell me this is why I was going through all the hell I was going through? This is why I had to go through since I was a child? You mean to tell me it's because it's called the redemptive suffering? I don't know about you, but that changed my life. I don't know about you, but that changed my life. That changed my perspective. That changed my thought patterns. That changed how I went through my trial. Oh my goodness. God said, this is going to change how you go through your trial. It's going to change your mindset. Come on. Your mindset shouldn't be no longer after this video. Your mindset should not be any longer. Well, God, I, why do I have to go through this? And, and I don't understand why, why, why do I have to always be by myself? And, and I don't understand why I never get called to platforms. And, and I don't understand why they don't never, amen, glory be to God, call on me. And, and I don't understand, God, why, why my ministry ain't going forth. And, and I don't understand, God, why do I have to go through being a beast? as a child and why do I have to go through anxiety and why do I have to go through cancer and why do I have to go God said you should no longer be saying this after tonight this video after tonight amen glory be to God he said it's because of the redemptive uh, suffering that you had to go through it's because of the redemptive suffering it's because you're going through for the benefit of somebody else oh my God am I helping somebody Am I helping somebody? Did I change somebody's mindset? Did I change somebody's mindset to let you know, wow, God, you mean to tell me I had to go through that because I'm going through for somebody else? Wow. It's biblical. Jesus had to go through in his body. He had to die on the cross, not because of something that he did. <laughs> Not because of something that he did. It's because he had to go through for you and me. He had to go through for our sins. He had to die for our sins. He had to go through for the benefit of the nation. For the benefit of the world. It's called the redemptive suffering. Oh my God. I don't know about you, but this changed my life. I don't know about you, but this word... I'm telling you, I got to preach this over the pulpit because I'm telling you something right now. This has changed my life. This has changed my perspective. This has changed the way I go through my trials. This has changed the way I go through my tests. Amen. I'm no longer saying, God, why me? I, now I'm saying, God, thank you that you counted me. I am honored to go through. I am honored to go through. I am honored to go through. Come on, somebody. I am honored that you have chose me to go through the fire. I am honored that you have chose me to go through the test. I am honored that you have chosen me to go through. Amen. Hallelujah. Being ostracized. I am glad, oh God, that you have chosen me for such a time as this to go through the fire of the furnace of affliction. Come on, I'm glad you have chose me. Tell somebody I'm glad you chose me, God. Listen, 2 Corinthians, the fourth chapter and the 16th verse. Oh my God, am I helping somebody? Am I helping somebody? If I'm helping you, somebody, somebody share this. If I'm helping you, somebody share this right now. Share it right now if I'm helping you. Come on, somebody, tonight. Come on, somebody tonight. If I'm, if I'm helping you, come on, let me see your hearts tonight because I want to help you. 
I want to help you tonight. 2 Corinthians, the fourth chapter and the 16th verse. So what is God saying? So what is God saying? Amen. Now that I know that is redemptive, that is redemptive, is a redemptive suffering. God, now that I know that is the redemptive suffering. So now what, God? How do I get through this? Because at the end of the day, God, I'm still human. After the end of the day, God, I still have my weak moments. God, at the end of the day, amen, glory be to God, I still want to cry. I still want to say, God, help me. What are you saying? And this is what God is saying to you. I'm going to help you. I'm going to help you real good. Listen, I'm going to help you. Second Corinthians, the fourth chapter and the 16th verse said this. For which cause we faint not. But though our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. Oh my God. God said, although our outward man is perishing, our inward man is being renewed day by day. This is why, amen, I don't stump what the enemy is saying. I don't stump what the devil is saying. Because although my outward flesh, although my flesh is perishing, my inward man is being renewed day by day. Yeah, that I see a 17 verse says this. Listen, I'm going to help you real good. So now that I know is the redemptive suffering, how, how God, how do I, how do I get through this? I'm going to help you. The 17 verse says this for our light affliction. Oh my God, Barbara, you made it right on time. Barbara, you made it right on time. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. Oh my goodness. Somebody, I'm helping somebody tonight. And I'm telling you something right now. I wish to God my body felt though and rejoiced the way this word is hitting my spirit right now. Oh my goodness. I'm going to help you, Mishy Boo. I'm going to help you. Mishy Boo Tomlin, I'm going to help you. This is what God is saying. So how do I get through this test? How do I get through what I'm going through right now? God is saying, I want you to take on this mindset. Now that you know that I am going through for somebody else, I know that what I'm carrying is not for me. I know that the affliction and the burden that I'm carrying is not for me. So, 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 so God, it, it, how do I get through this burden? How do I get through this test carrying the burden of somebody else? Listen to what the Bible is saying. When, and let me say this, when Jesus died on the cross, he had us in mind. When Jesus died on the cross, he knew, amen, that he was dying for a nation. He knew, amen, glory be to God, that, that it was for a greater cause. And this is what God wants you to do. He wants you, amen, to carry this weight knowing this. For our light affliction, this is a light affliction to God. Which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. Amen, an eternal weight of glory. For while we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen, for the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Do you hear what I'm saying, Mishibu? Do you hear what I'm saying? Do you hear what I'm saying? The Bible here says, amen, that is a light affliction. <laughs> oh my God. It's a light affliction because compared to what Jesus had to endure on the cross for us, it's a light affliction. You mean to tell me I'm going through and my body is a light affliction? Yes. You mean to tell me, amen, that the depression that I'm going through right now is a light affliction? Yes. You mean to tell me the anxiety that I'm going through right now is a light affliction? Yes. God said this is a light affliction compared to what he had to endure on the cross. He said, but amen, this light affliction is only temporal. It's only going to last but for a moment. God, why? Because God said, I'm going to take you through this. If you just hold on to this word, I am going to bring you through this. If you hold on to the word of God, I am going to take you through this. If you hold on to prayer. I am going to take you through this. If you are consistent in prayer, I am going to take through the, you through this, said the spirit of the Lord. 
Come on, we almost through with the scriptures and we going. Listen to what it says. Oh my goodness, I may have to finish this on tomorrow. Because this thing is so heavy in my spirit. Oh my God, this thing is so heavy in my spirit. Do you hear what I'm telling you tonight? This thing is so heavy in my spirit. I can't even contain myself. I can't even contain myself. Glory be to God. Listen to what it says. Second Corinthians. Go to the 12th chapter. Because, because God want to speak to us tonight. Second Corinthians. Go to the 12th chapter in the ninth verse. Somebody put that down there. We almost through with the scriptures and we going to go in prayer. Because I feel the glory. Oh my God. I feel the power of God on this line. And if I was you, I would begin to share this video right now. Because I feel the power of God on me right now. I'm trying to even get through this word. But God said, I got to get through these words. I got to get through the scripture. Because these, these scriptures are going to help you write these scriptures down. Write these scriptures down. Write them down. Write them down. Don't let them just go past your spirit like that. God said write these scriptures down. So when the enemy try to come in and tell you something other than what we said tonight. You're going to go to these scriptures and say uh uh devil. Amen. You cannot trick me. You cannot trick me devil. Glory be to God. Because I learned tonight on the prayer watch that this is a redemptive suffering that I am going through. You are not going to be able to trick me. I know that I am going through a redemptive suffering. I know that this is a light affliction. I know that what I am going through right now is only temporal. I know that what I'm going through right now is for an exceeding weight of glory. Oh my goodness. Second Corinthians, the 12th chapter in the ninth verse. Listen what it says. Come on. These scriptures are going to encourage you. And he said unto me, my grace is sufficient for thee. For my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in, in my infirmities. Oh, my God. That the power of Christ may rest upon me. Verse 10. Therefore, I take pleasure. Do you hear what the Bible is saying? It says, therefore, I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches, in necessities, in persecutions, in distresses for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then am I strong. Did that help somebody just now? I know that helped somebody just now. Oh my God, I, I need to take a break on that. Oh my God. Oh my God. Listen what it says. I'm going to read it again. I'm going to read it again. Verse 10. Therefore, I take pleasure in, in infirmities, in reproaches, in necessities, in persecutions, in distresses for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then I am strong. Oh my God, somebody go with me to Romans 8. We almost done with the scriptures, but I'm going to get this in your spirit tonight. Because we got to know, amen, glory be to God, that we're not just out here praying and acting crazy. But we have the word of God in us. Come on, somebody. Come on. We got the word of God in us that is going to teach us, that is going to guide us, that's going to be able to hold us in place. When the enemy comes, the word and prayer. Come on, somebody. Romans 8 and 28. Look what it says. Romans 8 and 28. Oh, my goodness. Somebody put that down here. Romans 8 and 28. Write these scriptures down. For the Bible says this. And we know that all things work together. For good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. For whom he did foreknow, he also pre did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called. Come on, he called you tonight. 
and whom he also called, he also justified. And whom he justified, them he also glorified. Am I helping somebody tonight? Am I helping somebody tonight? Romans 8 and 17. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ, if so be that we suffer with him, that we may also glorify, be glorified together. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared to the glory which shall be revealed in us, in us. I'm getting ready to start prayer. This is my last scripture tonight. Deuteronomy 31 and 8. Deuteronomy 31 and 8. This is my last scripture and we getting ready to go. Deuteronomy 31 and 8. Come on, these scriptures, God said these scriptures are going to help you. 31 and 8. This is the last scripture. And we getting ready to pray. Deuteronomy 31 and 8. And it says this. And the Lord he it is that doeth go before thee. The Lord is prophesying to you right now. And the Lord, he it is that doeth go before thee. He will be with thee. He will not fail thee. Oh my God. Neither forsake thee. He, fear not. Neither be dismayed. Oh my God. Oh my God. Do you hear what God is saying tonight? Do you hear what God is saying tonight? I'm going to read it again. And this is what the Lord is prophesying to us before we pray. And the Lord, and the Lord, he it is that doth go before thee. He will be with you. He will not fail you. Neither forsake you. Fear not and neither be dismayed. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. Did I help somebody tonight? Did I help somebody tonight? Come on. If I help you, let me see the hearts. We getting ready to pray. We getting ready to pray. We getting ready to pray. Your pain is revealing your purpose. Your pain is revealing your purpose. Come on. Father God, we praise you right now. Father God, we worship you, oh God. God, we thank you, oh God, right now that it was revealed in the word tonight. That what we are going through in our bodies, what we are going through in our lives, and what we have gone through up until now, oh God, Messiah, is redemptive suffering. Oh God, we thank you, oh God, right now that tonight you have revealed in your word tonight that our purpose is revealing our ministries. That our purpose, oh God, is revealing our, our pain, is revealing our purpose. Oh God, we thank you, oh God, right now. Oh God, we thank you that, hallelujah, we are not going through just to be going through. Oh God, but we thank you, oh God, that we are going through, hallelujah, our pain with purpose. Our pain have purpose. Our testing have purpose. Our trials have purpose. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. And oh God, we pray right now. Oh God, hallelujah, that you would strengthen us, oh God. For God, you said in your word, oh God, that you would never leave us or forsake us. Oh God, you said in your word tonight, oh God, that we shall not fail. Oh God, that we shall not fail. Oh God, so we are standing on the word of God tonight. Oh God, we are standing on your prophecy. Oh God, we are standing on the word, oh God. Oh God, that you would never leave us or not forsake us. Oh God, we're standing on your word. Oh God, that what we are going through tonight. Oh God, that, oh God, that, that is working for us, oh God. An exceeding weight of glory. Oh God, we pray, oh God, we, God right now. Oh God, that we will not get weary and well doing. Oh God, but in due sin. Season. We shall reap, oh God, if we just hold on to the promises of God. Oh God, if we just hold on to the prophecy, oh God, that you have prophesied to us tonight. Oh God, that is only a redemptive suffering that we are going through tonight. Oh God, 
God, hallowed up of fire. Oh God, cause us, oh God. Oh God, to not fail you, oh God. Cause us, oh God, hallelujah, that as we carry around this weight, oh God, cause us to release it in your presence. Cause us to release it in your presence. Oh God, hallelujah, we're not asking you why anymore. Oh God, we're not asking you why and why me and why do we have to go through what we're going through. Father God, we know, oh God, oh God, that the tears that we cry, oh God, we know that the tears that we cry at night, oh God, we know, oh God, that the pain that we're going through, it's only because we're going through for somebody else. We know, oh God, we're going through because of the testimony that we shall have. Oh God, we know, oh God, that we're going through, oh God, the pain, oh God, for a nation that we shall birth out in the name of Jesus. And now, God, I pray for everyone on this line tonight. Oh God, I pray right now. Oh God, that you will strengthen us, oh God, in your presence right now. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, I pray right now for those who count in our robbery to come on this prayer line tonight. Oh God, I pray right now. Oh God, that you will strengthen them, oh God. In the double seeking the Bahia. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God, strengthen their minds right now. In the name of Jesus, oh God, shield them in your blood. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God, strengthen their minds right now. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, oh God, hallelujah, oh God, protect their anointing. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God, I pray right now, oh God, that you would undergird them with your strength, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, strengthen them right now. Oh God, and we pray right now. Oh God, that we pull down every stronghold. Oh God, in their minds, oh God, that would speak contrary to this word tonight. In the name of Jesus, Satan, we rebuke you right now. In the name of Jesus, and we come against you right now. And your works right now. In the name of Jesus, we cancel every assignment. Oh God, that would come against our purpose. We we cancel every assignment right now that will come against our lives huh? in the name of Jesus. Huh? Oh God, we decree and declare. Huh? Oh God, that we pull it down huh? by your power and your might. Huh? In the double huh? seek In the name of Jesus, huh? we pull it up from the root. Huh? In the name of Jesus, huh? and we declare that we have the victory. Huh? We declare that we have the victory huh? right now in the in the name of Jesus oh God strengthen us for the work strengthen us for the assignment strengthen us for our, our purpose strengthen us for our ministries oh God oh God for those who are hurting on this line oh God they came on the line for prayer oh God strengthen their bodies right now from the crown of their heads to the soles of their feet oh God send your healing right now oh God send your healing oh God healing right now in the name of Jesus. Oh God, send this healing power. Oh God, send it, oh God, through every inch of their bodies. Send it to their hearts, oh God. Send it to their pancreas. Send it to their lungs. Send it to their brain, oh God. Send it to their body, oh God. In the name of Jesus, we decree and declare right now, oh God, that you touch them right now. Oh God, oh God, no weapon, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And we bind up depression huh? right now in the name of Jesus huh? we bind up anxiety huh? in the name of Jesus huh? oh God your children came on this line huh? oh God for prayer right now huh? oh God I pray for a release huh? a release in the name of Jesus huh? oh God we bind up huh? the hands of the devil huh? that will try to bind them up oh God huh? that will try to bind up their purpose huh? that will try to bind up their ministry huh? in the name of Jesus huh? oh God I loose them right now huh? in the name name of Jesus. I decree and declare that they are loosed by the power of God. In the name of Jesus, loose them to worship. Loose them to pray. Loose their visions, oh God. Loose their purpose, oh God. In the name of Jesus, oh God, release, oh God. Release the blueprint, oh God. Oh God, you said to write the vision and to make it plain. Oh God, loose their visions. Loose their business plans. In the name of Jesus, 
devil, you got to let it go. In the name of devil, you got to let it go. In the name of Jesus, you got to let their families go. You got to let their minds go. You got to let their bodies go. In the name of Jesus, for sickness cannot dwell in the child of God body. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare healing right now. In the name of Jesus, oh God, I pray right now. Oh God, that you minister to that mother. Oh God, that it's going through right now. Oh God, touch her heart right now. Oh God, she need healing in her mind. Oh God, that she need healing in her mind. Oh God, touch her right now. Oh God, she's wounded tonight. Oh God, but I sing your healing. But God, send your healing, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, she going through hurt. Oh God, unspeakable hurt. Oh God, but let her know, oh God, that you're right there with her. In the midst of the trial. In the midst of the test. Oh God, let her know that you're right there. Let her know that you're right there. And God, that you will see her through this trial. That you will see her through this test. In the name of Jesus. And no weapon that's formed against her shall be able to prosper. her. No weapon that's formed against her children shall be able to prosper. her. Oh God, put a hedge of protection around her children even now. Wherever they may be. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, send a protection. Right now in the Let no her harm or danger huh? come against her children. Huh? Oh God, but raise her children up, oh God. Huh? In the name of Jesus, huh? that they may be warriors for you, huh? that they may be testimonies for you. Huh? In the Come on, somebody begin to praise God. Come on, somebody begin to praise God. Come on, somebody begin to praise God. Come on, right there where you are. In the And God told me to tell you that this shall not kill you. That this shall not kill you. But this is only making you into a better person. This shall not kill you, man of God. But God said it's only making you stronger. For you shall not die, but you shall live. All of the Messiah to declare the glory of the Lord. And I hear the Spirit of the Lord saying that the devil should have killed you a long time ago. But God said, Hallelujah, I'm saved your life. I have mercy on your life. I saved you for such a time as this. I could have killed you while you was out there drinking. I could have killed you while you was out there smoking. I could have killed you while you was out there partying. I could have killed you while you was out there huh? doing everything hallelujah huh? against God huh? but God said I spared your life huh? for such a time as this huh? to give me glory huh? to give me honor huh? God said give me the praise huh? because I could have killed your life huh? a long time ago huh? but God said I came to heal you huh? God said I came to set your life free huh? God said I came to deliver you huh? oh God how you about see huh? and I send deliverance right now across this prayer line right now in the name name of Jesus. I'm unrooted right now. Everything that will cause you to not cause you to praise God. I am rooted right now in the name of Jesus. Everything that will cause you to not to worship your God. I am rooted right now. Everything that will cause you to not be consistent in prayer. I will uproot it right now by the power of God. In the and I pray right now huh, a financial miracle huh, right now in the name of Jesus huh, I come against lack right now I come against poverty right now I come against homelessness right now in the name of Jesus huh, in the name of Jesus huh, I decree and declare right now that prosper- prosperity huh, shall hit your home huh, in the name of Jesus huh, you shall not have huh, lack in your life huh? in the name of Jesus huh? I decree and declare huh? right now in the name of Jesus huh? that people shall give huh? unto your bosom right now huh? every project huh? shall be paid for huh? every vision huh? shall be paid for huh? every assignment huh? shall be paid for huh? every ministry huh? shall be paid for huh? in the name of Jesus huh? God said you was worried about the finances huh? that's why you never launched the ministry huh? you was worried worried about the finances. Huh? That's why you never launched the business plan. Huh? But God said as you begin to release it to him, huh? as you begin to release it, huh? God said I make a provision for the vision. Oh my God. 
Oh my God, I feel that for somebody. Somebody who's in business. Huh? Somebody who has a business. Huh? God said, open up the business. Huh? God said, open up the business. Huh? God said, take your business plan huh? down to the bank. Huh? He said, because I'm getting ready to make provision huh? for the vision, save God. Huh? In, the double, in, the double, si, huh? in the name of Jesus. Huh? Oh God, I pray right now for every ministry on this line. Huh? For every evangelist, every pastor huh? on this line right now. God, I pray right now that you would strengthen them. Huh? Oh God, strengthen their hands, oh God. Huh? In the name of Jesus. Huh? Oh God, let them know, oh God, huh? that their ministry is not in vain. Huh? Let them know, oh God, huh? that their ministry is not in vain. Huh? Oh God, cover them right now. Huh? In the name of Jesus. Huh? Sing your protection right now. In the name of Jesus. Huh? Oh God, sing your fire right now. Huh? In the name Sing your fire right now. Huh? In the name of Jesus. Huh? Oh God, send your fire right now huh? for wherever they are right now. Huh? In the name of Jesus. Huh? Oh God, I pray right now huh? that you send your anointing. Huh? That you send your fire right now. Huh? That you send your glory huh? to every person on this prayer line. Huh? Right now in the name of Jesus. Huh? Whether they in their houses, oh God. Huh? Whether they in the bathroom, oh God. Huh? Whether they in the living room, oh God. Huh? Send your power, oh God. Huh? Send your fire right now. Huh? Send your prayer for your God. God said he's sending his power right now. Oh my God. Oh my God. Sing your fire, oh God. Sing your fire, oh God. Right there where they are, oh God. Sing your fire, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Sing your fire, oh God. Consume everything that's not like you. Sing your fire right now. In the name of Jesus. Consume it right now. Consume alcoholism. Consume lying, oh God. Consume cheating, oh God. Consume it, oh God. Right now in the name of Jesus. Send right now your Holy Ghost of fire, God. Oh God, Father the Messiah. For you said be holy. For I am holy. Right now in the name of Jesus. Come on, that's it. Begin to press through. Come on, begin to press through right now. God said, in the end of the God said, if you're looking for a cleaning, God said, if you're looking for God to purge you, God said, cry out to him right now. In the name of Jesus. I feel the fire of God right now. On this line right now. God said, if you're looking for a purging. Huh? God said, begin to cry out to him. Huh? Right now, right now. Huh? Right now, right now. Huh? On this prayer line. Huh? If God, you said, God, fill me up. Huh? God said, give, begin to give him press. Huh? God said, begin to press right now. God said, begin to press right now. God said, begin to press right now. He said, fire. Huh? Fire in your home. Huh? Fire on your mouth. Huh? Fire in your life. Huh? Fire right now. Huh? In the name of Jesus. Huh? I call down fire. Huh? A consuming fire. Huh? Fire right now. Consuming fire. Huh? Consuming fire. Kill up everything that's not like you. Huh? In the name of Jesus. Huh? Kill up everything that's not like you. Huh? In the name of Jesus. And I pull you out of one place And I thrust you over into your new place I pull you out of the carnality I pull you out of carnality I pull you out of carnality I pull you out of carnality And I thrust your spirit over Into the spirit right now In the name of Jesus I rebuke you right now now saying her, huh? yeah, the Messiah, offer their lives in the Baba 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 Come on, that's it. Come on, begin to travail. 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 Come on, that's it, woman of God. Come on, that's it, woman of God. Come on, that's it. You almost there. God said, begin to travail out of your spirit. Begin to travail out of your spirit, men of God. Come on, that's it, men of God. God said, He's taking your ministry to another level. But you gotta travail out of your spirit. You got to travail out of your spirit huh? in the name of Jesus. Huh? Fire fall. Huh? Fire fall. Huh? Fire fall. Huh? A consuming fire. Huh? Let it fall right.
right now. In the name of Jesus. Consuming fire. Consuming fire. Consuming fire. Touch right now. Touch right now. Touch right now. In the name of Jesus. Oh, in the name of Jesus, we decree it so. We decree it so. In the name of Jesus, God said, cry out to him. God said, cry out. God said, cry out. I feel the power of God. I feel the anointing of God right here in this room. I feel the power of God right here in this room. I dare you to call on the name of Jesus. I dare you to call on the name of Jesus. Come on, God said, don't stop the tears from her. Don't stop your tears. Don't stop your tears. But God said, cry out right now. Don't stop your tears. But God said, cry out right now. God said, cry out. Oh, you're the baba 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 he come the baba 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 saya. He come the baba 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 saya. He got the baba 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 see Healing right now. He under the baba baba see him. Healing right now. Healing right now. Healing right now. Healing right now. In the baba baba see him. We rebuke the hands of the devil. Healing right now. In the baba 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 see it's done. He got the baba baba sata ya. Oh, you're the baba 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 see under the baha. Oh, you're the baba 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 see under the baha. Heal. Healing right now from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Healing right now. Healing right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Come on, that's it. Come on, that's it. Come on, I'm fighting for you. 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 Travail out of your spirit. Come on, that's it. God said you almost there. Travail out of your spirit. I feel another level of the anointing on this prayer line. I feel another level of the anointing on this prayer line. I feel another level of the anointing on this prayer line. I feel another level of the anointing on this prayer line. You don't understand what I'm feeling right now. You don't understand what I'm feeling right now. I see demons fleeing. I see demons fleeing. I see demons fleeing. I see demons fleeing. I dare you to call on the name. I dare you to call on the name of Jesus. I dare you to call on the name of Jesus. There's power in the name of Jesus. There's power in the name of Jesus. Resurrection power. Resurrection power. Resurrection power. Oh, you're the Baba Baba Sierra the Bahia. Resurrection redacting. Resurrect and redacting. Resurrect and redacting. Every death thing in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare your death spirit. I decree it to rise right now in the name of Jesus. I decree your death spirit. To rise right now, I decree the dead spirit to rise right now. I decree your dead spirit to rise right now. What am I saying? What am I saying, Prophet is Jerry? I'm saying your dead spiritual life, your dead prayer life, your dead word life. God said it's getting ready to be resurrected right now in the name of Jesus. He said your prayer life is going to another level. Your prayer life is going to another level. Come on, receive it in the name of Jesus. I feel the presence of God. I feel the presence of God. I feel the Holy Ghost power. I feel the Holy Ghost power. I feel the Holy Ghost power. I feel the Holy Ghost anointing. The anointing is right there where you are. The spirit of overflow. The overflow anointing. The overflow overflow anointing her the overflow anointing her God said receive the overflow her God said receive the overflow in your ministry her God said receive the overflow in your family her God said receive the overflow in your health her God said receive the overflow in your finances her God said receive the overflow right now her in the name of Jesus 
Come on, there's a, there's a certain type of anointing on me right now. I can't explain it, but the anointing of God is on this line right now. If I was you, I would begin to call on the name of Jesus. I would begin to wail out of my spirit. Come on, that's it. Don't stop your mouth from moving. 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 The spirit of the Lord is right there where you are. The spirit of the Lord is right there where you are. The spirit of the Lord is right there where you are. He's coming to see about you. He's coming to see about you. All you got to do is lift up your hands. All you got to do is open up your mouth and begin to call on the name of Jesus. Begin to call on the name of Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. We call on the name of Jesus. We call on the name of Jesus. The only help that we know, oh God. The only one that we know, oh God. The mind regulator, Jesus. The mind regulator, Jesus. The mind regulator, Jesus. The body healer, the name of Jesus. Come on, now, sit, begin to call on them. Come on, that sit high on the Bosaya. Come on, the devil don't like that you're worshiping God. The devil don't like that you're praising God. The devil don't like it. And I know the Bosaya, but we come to magnify him. We come to give him glory. We come to magnify him. Come on, the devil don't don't like that you praising him. The devil don't like that you magnifying him. The devil don't like that you praising him. But if I was you, I would open up my mouth and magnify the name of Jesus. Come on, that's it. Come on, that's it. He don't like it. But the devil is a liar. The devil don't like that we on this prayer watch. Listen to what I'm telling you. The devil don't like that we on this prayer watch, woman of God. Men of God, higher the Messiah. But we come to bind in the spirit. Right now in the name of Jesus. For across this nation. We pray for the nation right now. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, heal our nation. Oh God, heal every city. Oh God, heal every city. Oh God, heal Chicago. Oh God, heal Manhattan. Oh God, Oh God, heal Brooklyn. Oh God, heal Queens. Oh God, heal Florida. Oh God, heal California. Oh God, heal the United Kingdom. Oh God, heal Halabasiha, New Jersey. Oh God, heal Africa. Oh God, heal China, Jesus. Oh God, heal Japan. In the name of Jesus, all across this nation. Oh God, heal right now, from the crown of our heads to the soles of our feet. Oh God, God, Oh God, God, go across the nation. Go across the nation. Go across the nation. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, oh God, God, I pray for marriages right now in the name of Jesus, oh God, I pray right now, oh God, that you keep the marriages together in the name of Jesus, oh God, let not the enemy come between marriages in the name of Jesus, oh God, hallelujah. Keep our, oh God, heal our marriages right now in the name of Jesus. Oh God. Oh, I pray for every single person that's on this line. Oh God, keep them, oh God. Let them not fall in fornication. Oh God, let them not fall in fornication. Oh God, but keep every single person, oh God, on this line right now. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, their body belongs to you. Oh God, their bodies belong to you. Oh God, keep their bodies, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, we are vessel of honor. Oh God, let it be a vessel of honor. In the double in the name of Jesus come on somebody begin to travail out of your spirit travail out of your spirit oh travail out of your spirit come on that's it put your veil come on God wants you to cry out oh 
Come on, cry out. Oh, and we rebuke the hands of the enemy now. We rebuke the hands of the enemy now. That will come against our bodies. Oh, God, we rebuke every disease. We rebuke every autoimmune disease. In the name of Jesus, we come against cancer. We come against AIDS and HIV. In the name of Jesus, we rebuke you right now. But we declare a miraculous healing over the lives of God's people, over their bodies right now. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we, oh God, well, God, heal autism. Oh God, heal autism right now. In the name of Jesus, we declare, oh God, your miraculous healing. Oh God, we declare it right now in the name of Jesus. Come on, that's it. Come on, that's it. Come on, I feel the power of God. Come on, I feel the power of God. Oh, yeah, Oh, yeah, Oh, God, reset us in your glory. Reset us in your glory. Reset us in your glory. Reset us, oh God. Reset our spirits. Reset our minds. Reset our anointing. Oh, God. Hey, Come on, somebody begin to cry out to him. Come on, somebody begin to cry out to him. Hey, Come on, now sit, begin to cry. Cry out to him tonight. Come on, begin to cry out to him tonight. Come on, begin to cry out to him tonight. Come on, begin to cry out to him tonight. Come on, prayer watch intercessors. Come on, don't get tired now. Come on, begin to push through. Come on, begin to push through right now. Come on, begin to push through tonight. Come on, this is the time. Body, huh? Begin to get tired, huh? but God said, Push through tonight, huh? push through tonight. Huh? Tell the devil he's a liar, huh? tell the devil he's a liar. Huh? Come on, push through tonight, huh? push on through tonight. Huh? Birth out your ministry, huh? birth out your assignment, huh? birth out your purpose huh? in the name of Jesus. Huh? Push on through tonight, huh? push on through tonight, huh? push on through tonight, huh? push on through tonight. Huh? Hey, the bossy and the bossy, huh? Push on through, huh? Push on through, huh? Come on, travail out of your spirit, huh? In the bossy and the bossy, huh? Come on, your water is about to break tonight, huh? 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 Push on through, said the spirit of God, huh? Push on through, said the spirit of the Lord, huh? Push on through, said the spirit of the Lord, huh? It's about to break, huh? It's about to break, huh? Come on, you almost there, huh? Come on, you almost there, huh? It's about to break tonight, huh? God said, break it in the spirit, huh? Break it off of your mind in the spirit, huh? Break it off of your family in the spirit, huh? Break it off of your mind in the spirit, huh? In the name of Jesus, huh? In the name of Jesus, huh? We break it right now, huh? In the name of Jesus, huh? No weapon that's formed, huh? Shall be able to prosper, huh? When the enemy comes in, huh? Like a flood, huh? The spirit of the Lord, huh? Shall lift. Up stand it, huh? Against him right now, huh? In the name of Jesus, huh? Lift up your heads, huh? All ye gates, huh? And be lifted up, huh? Ye everlasting doors, huh? And the King of Glory, huh? The King of Glory, huh? The King of Glory, huh? Shall come in, huh? In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, huh? Break it off of your mind, huh? Break it off of your mind, huh? Break it off of your finances. Tell the devil he's a liar. In the name of Jesus. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's breaking. Oh yada ba 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 see. Oh yada ba 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 see. I heard the spirit of the Lord saying that the devil you see today, you shall not see no more. The giant that you see today. You shall not see no more the giant that you see today. You shall not see no more. 
God said, I've delivered you. I've already set you free. Oh, you're the baba baba see. I've already set you free. You have to tell the devil, devil, God already set me free. Oh my God, my God. Come on, that's it. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Come on, somebody begin to worship him. Come on, somebody begin to worship him. Come on, somebody begin to worship him. Oh, somebody begin to worship him. Come on, he's bringing healing right now. He's bringing restoration right now. Come on, somebody begin to worship him. Begin to worship him. Begin to worship him. Oh, God, Come on, somebody begin to worship him right there where you are. Come on, somebody begin to magnify him right there where you are. Oh, God, we worship you. Oh, God, we magnify you. There's nobody like you, Jesus. Come on, that's There's nobody like you, Jesus. Oh, there's nobody like you, Jesus. Come on, somebody worship him right there. Somebody worship him, worship him. Come on, you know that we worship him. Come on, after prayer. Oh, God, we worship your holy name. Come on, that's it, worship him. Oh, God, we worship you, Jesus. We give you all the glory. Come on, if you have a prayer request tonight. Oh my God. Is the redemptive suffering. Is the redemptive suffering. Is the redemptive suffering. Is the redemptive suffering God said what you're going through Is because of the redemptive suffering Everything that you're going through Is not for you But it's because of the redemptive suffering All the pain that you're going through It's because of the redemptive suffering All the world that you're going through it's because of the redemptive suffering God said hold on, hold on hold on, hold on hold on, hold on oh oh God we cry out to you oh God we cry out to you God. we cry out to you oh God keep us Jesus keep us Jesus Keep us Jesus, keep us Jesus, keep us Jesus, keep us Jesus, keep us Jesus. Oh God, da da ba 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 all for his glory it's all for his glory oh my god it's all for his glory it's all Spirit of the Lord saying it's all for his glory. Oh my God. It's all for his glory. Do you hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying to you? It's all for his glory. <laughs> it's all for his 
face of his glory. Come on, if you have a prayer request tonight. If you have a prayer request tonight. Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, I pray for Audrey tonight. God, I pray, oh God, for Audrey tonight, oh God. God, I pray right now, hallelujah, and I rebuke the hands of the enemy even now. God, that would try to discourage her in this season. Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, I pray right now, oh God. God, that you would send your strength to her right now where, she's, where she is. God, she's feeling discouraged in this season and this hour. God, let her know that is nothing but the redemptive suffering is the reason why she's going through tonight. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I thank you right now from the crown of her head to the soles of her feet that you're healing her and that you're setting her free. I don't plead with the enemy tonight, but I decree in the air that she is free right now. Free in her mind. God, send your peace, send your love. Surround her right now with your comfort. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on if you have a prayer request. God, I pray for Valor Hulk, son, Amos. Father God, I pray right now. God, there is nothing too hard for you. There is nothing too hard for you. And oh God, I pray right now that this prayer will reach the hospital bed. And God, that the mother Vala will pray this, this prayer for her son while he's in the hospital bed. God, I pray right now that every organ will work according to how you created it. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, I pray for a speedy recovery right now. In the name of Jesus, God, I pray for restoration. No weapon that's formed against him shall prosper. But he shall not die, but he shall live. To declare the glory of the Lord. To declare this testimony. That although what the enemy meant for my evil, God, you turned it around. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come on, I'm taking a few prayer requests tonight. God, I pray, oh God, for Tina Beckford, friend, and Marie. God, that you know what she's standing in need of. God, I pray right now, oh God, that you would touch, heal, set free, and deliver. Send your restoration. Send your hope right now. And it is so. Father God, I pray, oh God, for Nikita, husband. Father God, I pray the prayer of salvation. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. God, I pray, oh God, that she, he will fully surrender his life to you. In the name of Jesus. God, I pray right now, oh God, that you would send your comfort. Let him know, oh God, that you love him. God, let him know, oh God. Hallelujah. God, that there's nothing that you would withhold from him if he seek you. If he surrender his life to you. And God, we believe you that is already done. In the name of Jesus. God, I pray for Susan. Oh God, that you would meet her need, oh God, for a green card. Oh God. You know what she's standing in need of. Oh God, make a way out of no way. Oh God, put her application to the front of the line. In the name of Jesus. Oh God. Father God, I pray for Shirley Mason. God, as she's going into surgery on tomorrow. God, I pray, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. God, I pray, oh God, hallelujah, that everything will work out the way you have orchestrated it to work. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke the hands of the enemy. Oh God, that would try to form complications in her surgery on tomorrow. But God, I thank you, oh God, for restoration healing. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, I got a peace. It is so. Father God, I pray, oh God, for minister Joshua's parents, oh God. God, I pray, oh God, that you would touch their bodies. God, send healing. Send restoration, oh God, from the crown of their heads to the soles of their feet. God, I pray, oh God, that you would anoint them no more for your ministry, for your work. Strengthen them, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Everything that their hands will touch. Oh God, prosper it right now. In the name of Jesus, we thank you right now. For this, we pray. Amen. Come on, I'm looking for some new people to pray for. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I pray for Charlene, Shanna Davis. 
God, I pray for her marriage and her family. God, make a way out of no way. Send healing, restoration, and deliverance. Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, you know all that she's standing in need of concerning her marriage. God, you said what you have put together, let no man put asunder. I pray right now for the spirit of peace in her marriage and her family. And, I, and it is so. Come on, I'm looking for new people. Langston, I pray for her son right now in the name of Jesus. God, I send this special prayer that her son will not get distracted in this season. But I pray right now, oh God, that you would order his steps. God, order his steps in you, oh God, in the name of Jesus. For God, when you say put it down, you mean put it down, that he will put it down. Oh God, I pray right now, oh God, that you would use him in the ministry. Oh God, that you would continue to keep him. Oh God, surround him, oh God, with your angels. Let no hurt, harm, or danger come nigh to him. We bind up the hands of the enemy even now. In the name of Jesus. God, I pray for Dion Grosset. Oh God, that she's coming in that's new on this prayer watch. God, I pray right now that I send a special anointing. Oh God, that it will hit her life, that it will hit her home. Oh God, let this anointing go with her everywhere that she go. God, those days that she feel discouraged, God, comfort her. Let her know that you are with her in the name of Jesus. And it is so. God, I pray for Andrea Frey, her daughter, Nicola. Oh God, who's battling sickle cell disease. Oh God, oh God, we pray right now, oh God, that you would touch her from the crown of her head to the soles of her feet. No weapon, no weapon. Oh God, in the heart, oh God, in the name of Jesus, to let her know, oh God, that you are there with her in the midst of it all. In the midst of it all, God, for this is a purpose and a reason. Oh God, and she shall be a testimony of your deliverance and your power in the name of Jesus. Father God, I pray for Peter Dyer. God, I pray right now, oh God, that you would make a way to, out of no way, oh God. That you would touch his finances, oh God. That when he go, oh God, hallelujah, to the banks. Oh God, I pray for favor over Peter's life right now. And it is so. God, I pray for Janelle Edwards. God, it's her first time here on the prayer watch. God, I pray, oh God, for her life, for her son Charles and Raphael. God, I pray, oh God, you know what she's standing in need of as her first time on this prayer watch. God, I pray right now that you would touch her life, touch her health, touch her finances. God, be with her everywhere that she go. God, I send a special prayer of deliverance over her family and over her life. God, let not, oh God, anything be withheld from her as she seeks you in the name of Jesus. And it is so. God, I pray for Denise Ferrin and her ministry, her family. In the name of Jesus, God, I pray right now that you would meet every need according to your will for her life and her family. In the name of Jesus, God, in the name of Jesus, take her deeper in you. Hide her, oh God, continue to hide her behind the cross as she ministered to your people. Strengthen her in the name of Jesus. Father God, I pray for Yardi straight more the first time. God, I pray, oh God, hallelujah, that sickness and disease cannot rest in that body. Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, I pray for a special prayer. Oh God, of those who are dealing with sicknesses and disease. God, I pray that you would heal them from the crown of their heads to the soles of their feet. Sing your deliverance, sing your power, sing your anointing right now. In the name of Jesus, and it is so. God, I pray for Nicole Daly for her first time. God, you know what she's standing in need of. She came on this prayer line believing and having faith. Now, God, I pray for a special hedge of protection around her. God, I pray, oh God, that you would take her deeper in her prayer life, deeper in her word life, oh God. In the name of Jesus, oh God, I pray for health, strength, peace. God, in the name of Jesus, God, I pray for Jeannie, oh God, her first time, oh God, I pray for health, strength, peace, oh God, deliverance, restoration, man, I'm just trying to you out tonight, if it's your first time, if it's your first time, Patrice, Tatiana, Shabazz, 
Hallelujah. Come on, I'm going to pray for you collectively. It's hard to pray. It's almost 300 people more, and there's more people on this line. Amen. It's, it's more people on this line. I Come on, everybody, that is your first time here. I want to do a collective prayer. Amen. A collective prayer because there's too many of you on the prayer line to pray individually at this time. There's over 200 people on this line right now, even more. Amen. Come on, if it's your first time on the prayer watch, let me, amen. Denitris, Sandra, Lewis, Edward, Felicia, amen. Mrs. Crawford Butler, Coretta, come on, if it's your first time. Tatiana, I see you. City, and I see you. Lisa, I see you. Hallelujah. Come on. Amen. If it's your first time, let me greet you. Amen. Let me pray over your life. We're getting ready to close this prayer. Amen. Natasha, Althea, Mars. Amen. Come on, if it's your first time. Sophia, God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. Eva, Carrillo, Peggy, thank you for joining the Prayer Watch Live. Hallelujah, Jesus. LaShawn Wood. Amen. Sarah Rogers. Amen. Glory. Irma Fuller. Oh my gosh. Look all the first timers. Amen. Capable. I, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. Annette Duffy. Alfred Williams. Your first time. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Aretha. Sharon. Come on, if it's your first time, amen. I'm going to read about a few more. Delarine, De your first time. Amen. Ruby, amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. We give you glory, Lord. We give you glory, Lord. You alone are worthy of the glory. I'm telling you. There was such a presence on this line. Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, I pray for those collectively. Amen. And for their first time on this line. Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, I pray, oh God, that you first would bring prayer life deeper to another level. In the name of Jesus. God, you know what they stand in need of coming on the prayer watch live. God, I pray right now, oh God, that you would meet every need whether it's financially, spiritually, naturally. God, open up the doors to them. Open up favor to them. Oh God, I pray for their sons. I pray for their children. I pray for their husbands and wives. In the name of Jesus. God, I pray, oh God, if there's some, oh God, are dealing with health, health issues. God, I pray that you will restore their bodies right now. In the name of Jesus. Enemy over their lives right now. God, I pray for your healing and restoration, for your comfort, for your peace and your joy in the name of Jesus. And I declare it to be so. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Listen, we're getting ready to close. We're getting ready to close. Amen. The prayer watch live. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. We're getting ready to close out the prayer watch live. If, amen, I see all the first timers. Amen. Glory be to God. Yeah, I know, amen, it's 11 o'clock. I'm going to rest my body. Amen. Glory to God. And uh, if, it, if you desire, amen, if you desire to know who Christ is, amen. Glory be to God. Mommy, look at it. Mommy, look at it. It's my daughter. Amen. Amen. Listen, if you want to know who Christ is, glory. God bless you, Tatiana. God's going to continue to keep those tears. Amen. God is cleaning you. God is cleaning. God is cleaning. Amen. I pray that I was a blessing tonight. Amen. Remember, your pain has purpose. Amen. The redemptive suffering. The redemptive suffering. I'm going to close out with this. When you go through a problem or pain for the benefit of others. When you go through a problem or pain.
for the benefit of others. Amen. Tell somebody, I'm just going through my redemptive suffering. Tell somebody, I'm just going through my redemptive suffering. Tell somebody, I am going through my redemptive suffering. Let me see you. Tell them, tell them, come on, when the enemy try to come in, amen, tell the devil, listen, devil, I'm just going through my redemptive suffering. I'm just going through my redemptive suffering. Listen, if you want to know who Jesus Christ is for the parting of your sins, if you want to be saved, listen. Say, I want to, be and want to be saved tonight. And you want to know who Jesus Christ is. Amen. Somebody say, I want to be saved. Amen. Those are the only people that I'm going to be praying with tonight. Amen. And after this, I will be resting my body. Amen. If you want to be saved. Amen. Hallelujah. Say, I want to be saved tonight. Jada, pass me a tissue. Amen. If you want to be saved tonight, say, I want to be saved. 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 If you have, if you are in the backsliding condition, amen, and you need to, you want to, uh, and you want to know who Christ is again for the pardon of your sins, say, I want to be saved. God bless you, Darlene. Hallelujah. I see you, Tatiana. There's one. I see you, Tatiana. I see you. She says she want to be saved. I see you, Ralda. I, that's two people. Come on. Tatiana Rolda, I see you. Hallelujah. Come on, that's four people. Come on. Five, Haley, I see you. Six, Carol, I see you. Miss Crawford, come on. Seven, I see you. Seven people, come on, that's it. I want to be saved. I want to be saved. Eight, Yardy, come on, I see you. Come on. I want to be saved, God. I want to know who you are for the pardon of my sins. Come on, that's it. Hallelujah. Come on, what we're doing here would be in vain if nobody gets saved. Eight people. Eight people, come on. I want to be saved. Nine. Susie, nine people. I want to be saved, God. I want to know who you are. I want to know who you are for the pardon of my sins. Come on, nine. Hi, God. Come on, rejoice in God. Rejoice in God. Ten, Veronica, I want to be saved. I want to be saved, God. I want to be saved. I want to know who you are. Eleven, Charlene. Eleven, eleven people. Come on, I want to be saved. God, I want to know who you are. April, April, that's twelve. Twelve. I want to be saved. I want to be saved. If you know me. I come on the prayer watch and I don't just give a word in prayer. Amen. Abigail said, thank you for being honest, Abigail. I want to recommit my life to God. 13, Abigail, I want to recommit my life back to God. Come on. This all would be in vain for me if I don't ask for, if I don't ask if anybody want to be saved. 13, come on. A few more seconds, a few more seconds. The window is closing. 14, Charlene, Channer Davis. I want to be saved. Come on, that's it. 14, hallelujah. Come on, one more minute. I'm opening it up. I'm opening the floor. You want to be saved. 14, come on, that's it. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Jesus. Glory to your name, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to your name, God. Amen. 14 people. Amen. Father God, Brenda, 15 people. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? I need to see the heart of the people that are praying. Where are the people that are praying? 14 people. Come on. There's people on here saying, I want to give my life back to Christ. I want to give my life back to Christ. I'm from Trinidad. Veronica, thank you for being honest. 15 people. I'm a backslider and I want to give my life back to Christ. 15. Amen. Come on. That's it. That's it. 15 people. I want to give my life back to Christ. Thank you, Veronica, for being honest. Hallelujah. Come on. Listen, I'm getting ready to pray with you now. Father God, in the name of Jesus, come on, say this prayer with me. Father God, I know that I'm a sinner. 
Father God, in the name of God, that you have died on the cross for me and you rose again on the third day. Now, God, come into my heart. Save me. Deliver me. Set me free, oh God. In the name of Jesus. God, save my life right now. In the name of Jesus. Come into my heart. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. God, I am saved. I am saved. God, I trust you from this day forward. I trust you with my life from this day forward. I trust you with my family. I trust you in everything that I do in the name of Jesus. God, I believe you again on the third day for me that you have forgiven me even now for my sins. Come into my heart. Save me. Set me free. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. If you have said that prayer tonight you are saved this is simple as that it, it, it don't take no no special uh, uh anything amen if you said that prayer you are saved amen and if you have said that prayer and i want you to get into a bible believing church if you are in the queen's area you could come out to hope restoration ministries amen and queen's village new york amen Find a Bible-believing ministry. Amen, amen. Listen, I'm about to close, but please follow me on Facebook so that you can know, amen, glory be to God, when I go on Facebook Live. Amen, I say this every night, and it's not for vain glory, but it is so that we can, so that you can follow me on uh, Facebook to be able to keep up with the Prayer Watch Live. Amen. So if you have not followed me tonight, Amen. Glory be to God. Please click on the follow button. Amen. If you're going to follow me tonight, just say follow. Amen. Glory be to God. And don't forget to send your prayer request to the prayer watch live at gmail.com. Amen. Glory be to God because I do pray over. I, I, this is, and, and this is very serious to me. Amen. And I pray over every single prayer request. Amen. I don't just come on here and pray. I pray in my own time. Amen. I have my own prayer, <laughs> my own prayer with time. And I pray over these prayer requests. Amen. And so I admonish you. Amen. Glory be to God to follow me here. Submit your prayer requests on the prayer watch live at gmail.com. And if you would like to get the prayer watch t-shirts, amen. Submit your request. Amen. To the prayer watch live at gmail.com. Amen. Glory be if you're going to submit for your t-shirt we will be wearing our t-shirts very soon so if I was you I will order your t-shirt now order your t-shirt now by submitting an email to email.com with your name, your size and your address this is for now, amen and we will send you a link on how to purchase the t-shirt amen, so amen if you have not followed me here, if you are new to the Prayer Watch Live, that means you should be one of the ones, amen, that will immediately follow me after this broadcast. And don't forget to please continue to share this video with somebody. You know, my boss, amen, to God be the glory, my old boss was on here on last night. I'm, I've been getting testimonies after testimonies after testimonies of those who have come on the Prayer Watch. I'm telling you, I, to God be all the glory for the things that he is doing on this prayer watch amen and he is healing bodies he is making ways out of no ways and i'm so grateful amen so please follow me here uh on jerry robinson and uh and i will see you back here again if god says the same cover me with your prayers i love you i appreciate you until we meet again right here on the prayer watch live thank you so much for joining me and i will see you again soon god bless